What's up guys, Wicked Con for Life 2 here to bring you guys another video tutorial on Pinnacle Studios 12 for changing your settings so you can record in HD. Now this isn't really like changing your capture settings to record in HD, but in the final process for the make movie it's changing it to HD, so I'll show you that here in a bit. So what we want to do is when it comes to settings, you want to go to your capture source and click Dazzle DVC 100 or whatever Dazzle you got. Uh, TV standard is going to be set to NTCS. Now the aspect ratio I use is 16 by 9 because it's better and it's got widescreen on it but you guys can use 4 by 3 whichever one you like. Also with the capture preview you want to uncheck it so like that. Everything else you leave the same here. Come to your capture format you use MPEG 1.5 now you could use the high quality DVD but I'm going to show you guys a different setting on custom so what I do is I go to custom I change the K bits by second from 6000 to 8000 and then you leave everything else the same like normal come over here to project preferences you go to project format right here and then you click on this bubble right here mm -hmm. you want to change it from NTCS progressive to NTC NTSC progressive widescreen now, you leave everything else the same like normal. Now come over here to Video Audio Preferences. You the only thing you want to change here is your background rendering. You want to come over here and click this bubble. Use this codec for background rendering. You want to use MPEG-2, best for output to disk. Click OK. Uh, load up and everything. Okay. Now it should be set to custom right here. Now once you're done capturing your video and you're done editing it come over here to make movie now what I used to use was MPEG-4 high definition but it didn't turn out really good to me so what I'm using now is I'll go to Windows Media and now the preset I use is HDV 720 by 60 p and it's 1280 times 720 this does take a little bit to make the movie but in the end it is completely worth it because it comes out in HD and it looks beautiful now for everybody who's been having an issue like what I have right here, if you guys can't really see it, it's on a couple of my videos on my YouTube channel, but this white dotted line up top, I learned how to get rid of it. So what you want to do is you want to click here and go to Clip Properties, go to Cropping, and select Crop. Now presets, you want to set it to full screen. Now what you want to do is you just gently want to move these down so it fits the screen and you can also get rid of the black box that's hanging around your video too. So do this real quickly. You can also see on the right side what it's going to come out to look like. Then you go to scale and then you just fix the size of the video like this. Now you click X and there you go. It's perfect it's fully cropped there's no crap hanging around it now now I'm going to show you guys a quick example of an HD video that I actually did up and it's not on my main channel but it's on my other one it's called www.youtube.com slash redemption drifting this is my drift crew uh, this video is for the second annual weekend drift event that we are doing for the Forza community so if you drift on Forza add us up have a good time and we hope to see you there so here's the video, hope you guys enjoy. That's the only part of the video I'm going to show for you guys, but if you couldn't see it really well, just go into that YouTube channel I talked about and look at it there. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you found it out to be really helpful, uh, subscribe to my channel and be on the lookout for more video updates and tutorials. So, that's it.